Hi everyone, here's a little video about a chicken coop with new automated chicken door. Chicken door is called Merlin the Chicken Winder because uh, it's a box that was probably sold for alarm system or something. Came from an electronics place. So the door used to be this sliding thing and I chose not to modify the door at all. I just added some cables and pulleys to pull it back and forth and some limit switches to stop it at both ends. And then a gear motor that was initially supposed to be, I think originally it's a gear motor to run at 180 volts DC. Because it's DC it's easy to reverse. And I'm running it at like 30 volts and it's geared down so it turns really slowly. In the box, uh, an ordinary household timer tells it when it's time to open in the morning. Currently it opens around uh, 9 a.m., closes after dusk at uh, 4.45, 5 p.m. The chickens are always back in after dusk anyway, so as long as the I adjust the timer periodically throughout the year, that works fine. And then a wall wart DC power supply that puts out about 30 volts DC from uh, 120 volt AC input. And one relay that controls power to the motor and reverses it for the uh, appropriate cycle. So if I force it to run a cycle by turning the uh, manual override on the timer. Back inside ladies. Okay, I'm gonna turn the click. Okay, Merlin, run the door. And click. Reaches the other limit switch, shuts it off at the end of its course. Limit switch is just running back and forth. And another cycle to open. Click. Motor turning. Door creeping open. So yeah, the wire that pulls the door is attached to the door. Runs around a couple pulleys. Runs up and it's looped around the spool that I made to go on the DC motor. Voila, there's a light inside. So one of these, one of these outlets is for the DC motor. Uh, it's not a conventional plug you should use for DC motors, so I labeled it. And then this one is actually, this one's AC, 120 volt, feeding a lamp. And this one's DC, 30 volt, reversible polarity, feeding the motor. The lamp is in there primarily to keep their water from freezing. It's just a 200 watt incandescent bulb. Sits under their waterer, beside their roost, nesting box and feeder elsewhere in there. And that 200 watt light bulb will keep their water from freezing down to at least minus 25 degrees Celsius. I haven't. I haven't had uh, a colder night yet since I switched from 100 watts to 200 watts. It used to freeze a little bit and I would have to come out early every morning to make sure they had water. Voila!